Hey gang, welcome. This is Mike with my real estate dojo. And today's lesson is about smart coaching. Now, I know every one of us knows about real estate companies that charge thousands of dollars. What I mean by that is 10, 20, 25,000. They have programs out there that do bus trips. But one thing I really understand by working for free and dealing with a lot of different individuals throughout the United States and other countries is that a lot of these individuals go to these camps or to these academies and whenever they leave the academy, they'll spend that five, ten, twenty, twenty five thousand dollars for coaching or for the seminars or for the training course or the webinars. End of the day they don't do deals. And what makes the dojo or me different than any of the other cats out there is that I'm not here to sell you a dream, okay? A lot of these academies, they have the one-day seminars for free, and they're going out there, and they're selling you on real estate, why real estate is good for you, how you can hedge it against, for example, inflation, and how you're able to get great return on your investment, and all these good things. But one of the major differences between the dojo, we do not sell you the dream. You must have the dream in yourself, okay? So I'm not here to pump you up about real estate. I'm not here to pump you about being an entrepreneur. I'm not here to pump you about why you should have a better life. No, sir. No, ma'am. At the dojo camp, what we do is hold your hand, help you go do fucking deals. That's it. It's very simple. And my passion and my drive to do this it was not born because I want to make money. My passion and drive called me to do this because I want to impact people's life. I want to change your life. I want to be an impact in your life. 20 years from now, you remember me and I, or I remember you and I know I did something for you. That was, that's what drives me. And so instead of coming up with a way where you get suck for money from this camp and that book and this series, I came up with a smart coaching system. And the way the smart coaching program works is that it's performance-based. Now, what that means is whenever you go out there and you do a deal and you profit, then you pay me. So it's a win-win. So again, let me repeat this. The smart coaching program at the dojo is a performance-based program where I have a vested interest in you to go out there and close deals. Because if you don't go close deals, then I don't make money. Okay? So it's a win-win. We have a linear relationship for us to both win. It's not like the academies where you buy their books or you buy their seminars or you buy their webinars or you go and buy their courses and then good luck Joe hopefully you could do a deal and if you need more come back we'll sell you more product that's not what what I'm about that's not what the dose is about I want to come to to your life and change your life and help you reach your financial goals whatever they may be if that's to buy and hold to be a landlord like me or if you just wanted to do wholesaling or if you want to do fix and flips whatever your goals is if you want to be a note holder if you want to be an owner of financing investor whatever it is i want to help you reach that and make sure you get results so you go out there and tell your friends and family about the success you're having which is going to help me feel more positive and more rewarding to myself, which is going to allow me to capitalize on America and to make the most amount of out of my dreams. Because as most of you already know, I'm a refugee to America. What does that mean? That means my parents and I immigrated thousands of miles to America as refugees because we were not Muslim. And in Iran, where I'm originally from, the government is Muslim. And if you're not Muslim, they torture you and kill you, just like the Holocaust. And in Germany with the Jews. So the same thing story was happening in my country. My parents had to immigrate to America. So we're refugees. We came here with nothing. I didn't speak the language. My dad didn't speak the language. The, the truth is my mom and dad are both illiterate. 
They, they both don't even have high school educations in their own country or here, okay? So for me to go out from this kind of lacks and disabilities, coming here as a refugee, not knowing left from right, not speaking any English, not having any connections, not having any money, not having any support, not having nothing, and to turn myself into going to college, to pay for myself to go to college, to turn, to live in my car, to chase my dreams, to turn a hundred bucks into three companies. Hi guys, why am I doing this? Very, very simple. One, I want to hang around or with more positive and hungry individuals like myself so I could inspire you to get inspired. Number two, I want to do more deals. And one of the problem is there's so many of you guys out there that I know that have the ability and you're hungry enough, but you just don't have the ten, twenty thousand dollars, or you don't want to put that money up into coaching, but you want to do that, use that money for doing deals. And I don't blame you. I'm in your shoes. So after three years of thinking and coming with a win-win situation, I finally came up with the smart coaching program where, again, it's performance based. When I help you do a deal, when you make profit, I make profit. Then you pay me. So it's a win for you and it's a win for me. And that way I could do a lot of deals, which is the number two reason why I start doing this program. And I want to meet other hungry individuals just like yourself to network with you, to rub elbows with you so I could do more deals in America This because this country is the greatest nation ever. And the only way to get ahead is to hang around other positive individuals that are hungry just like myself. Now guys, why should you let me be your coach? I know there's a lot of other gurus out there. There's all, and, and, and a lot of them do a very great job. And, but why should you let me be your coach? And I'm just going to give you a couple of reasons. Number one, guys, is that I actually live this lifestyle. I'm not just saying it. I've been, since high school, I've been an entrepreneur, okay? I haven't had a paycheck since high school, okay? When I say high school, 10th grade, 11th grade, okay? Which means I'm fucking hungry. As you know, I'm an immigrant to America, so I'm willing to do whatever the fuck it's going to take to reach my fucking goals. I'm not here to make fucking excuses. I'm willing to fucking grind. America is so fucking green, and I'm willing to fucking go out there and harvest. So when you hire me to be your coach, you know that I'm going to come through for you. You know I'm going to do whatever the fuck it takes to make you fucking do deals. As long as you're coachable and as long as you follow the three golden rules of the dojo membership, then we're going to fucking go do deals. Now, I'm not selling you some magic pill or 10-minute abs or any of that bullshit because, as you know, I'm not about that. I'm about hard fucking work. And if you're willing to put the fucking work into it, then you're going to get the fucking results no matter what. Just like going to the gym. As long as you shut the fuck up and you do an hour a day, five days a week, in two months, your body's going to change no matter what. So I'm not selling you a get rich quick scheme or 10 minute abs. Okay, I just want to make sure that you guys really understand that. But if you're willing to put the fucking work in, if you're willing to do whatever's required to reach your financial goals, then I can help you. If your goal is to make two grand, then you don't need to work every fucking day. If your goal is to make 30 grand a month, then you may have to work a lot more than the guy that wants to make two grand. And if your goal is to make 100 grand a month, then you're gonna have to work a lot fucking more than the person that wanted to work for two grand a month. I hope that makes sense. So the amount of time you have to sacrifice is gonna all depend on what your goals are in life. Now, another reason why you guys should join my coaching is that I, at my camp, we talk about using house money. We talk about not getting in debt. And what do I mean by that, okay? Um, let's talk about getting in debt. There's a lot of people talk about, hey, man, uh, if you want to invest, why don't you go borrow on your credit cards? Or if you want to you know, buy a $10,000 property and you don't have the money, why don't you go borrow the money or use a hard money lender. And at this camp, we're against those ideas because financial freedom does not mean going in debt, okay? 
and that's what that's what's wrong with a lot of these big corporations in America today is like you hear like GMC going bankrupt they're you know or Kodak going bankrupt and they're doing bankruptcy and it's like they they have so much money so much cash flow but what happens is they get in more debt than they gross or they get in more debt than they are producing and so that's really not financial freedom at the dojo at my camp what makes me different than the other camps out there we we do want to use other people's money we don't really want to sign our name for it and we definitely don't want to go borrow money to do create a business or start flipping houses or start wholesaling property because i've created a proven system through turning my hundred bucks into three businesses in america through to the grind to the hard work a proven system for you to be able to make money without borrowing money so why should you have to go borrow money, 10 grand, 20 grand, 100 grand, whatever? I've created systems where you're able to use other people's money. I've created systems where you're able to do use your sweat equity. I've created a system that if you're willing to fucking do X many cold calls, do X many uh, door knocking, do X many postings, that you're going to get free money, house money, to use that house money to reinvest into your business so it's not your money. And I, and I keep saying house money, and house money is where you put up your time, your sweat equity, and you turn that into currency, dollar bills, and that dollar bills is house money. It wasn't your money. It was just like the casino. It wasn't your money. So then you use that money to invest and take risks with it. And plus add your sweat equity into it. So one of the major differences between the dojo and the other academies or schools out there is that we teach you how to go out there and make money without borrowing money. How to make money without getting in debt. Now, sometimes we have to borrow money, but we borrow money without with a non-recourse note. We borrow money from owner financing. We don't go borrow money from the banks like Wells Fargo and Bank of America and things of that nature, okay? Those are at the very, very last resort. Those are one we've already been in business for a while and we know what the fuck we're doing. It's really stupid to just start as a new investor, go borrow some money from a hard money lender just to go do a fucking deal which you've never done and the deal's gonna be a fucking rehab. What do you think the odds of success of that is? It's very, very slim. I know these guys are preaching that this is possible and doable and this absolutely is, but come on guys, if this is your first fucking rodeo, you've never done a fix and flip, you don't have the fucking money, you think what the odds of the fuck factor in the fix and flips are. How many things do you think you misunderstand and misestimated? And then you're gonna borrow some money and put your name up from a hard money lender, use somebody else's money. See, th this is this is all the BS that you know. A lot of the gurus and the systems teach us, hey, to get rich with debt. Well, man, the truth is, in my mindset, it's better to own a million dollar business, clear and clear or no loans to the bank than own a hundred million dollar business that has a debt of a hundred fifty million because in this scenario of the hundred fifty minus the hundred million there's a negative of fifty million dollars so I don't care if the company's so big but they're in debt still because end of the day when you add positive or negative if it's positive in my mind you're financially free you don't have the banks put in a cage uh, a rope around my neck and that's what I teach now I do believe in leverage and I do believe in using other people's money and I will show you through strategies like subject to raps but that's a little different than going signing your name with a non-recourse loan you know I, I like to negotiate non-recourse loans so if something happens, let's say if you default, the, the bank is only taking the collateral and they're not coming after you personally on your credit. So that's some of the benefits of joining the dojo, smart coaching. You're going to get so much information. You're going to get all these years of experience that I have just downloaded to you. And I have many, many students that have done multiple deal, deals in 30 days or less. And I'm very confident that I could do that to you over and over as long as you're willing to be coachable you're willing to be positive you're willing to follow the dojo three golden rules then me and you're going to have success but if you're a top individual that wants to be negative if you think this is not going to work if you think i'm a scam or if you think 
real estate doesn't work, then please, please do not join the dojo because, A, I'm not going to allow you in there because you're a bad apple. And two, you're not going to be able to do anything in life with that mindset. You have to have to have the mindset of what you're going to do is going to work. You're going to have to have the belief system in there. Even though if you don't know what the fuck to do or how to do it, you just got to know. When I started and lived in my car after college, I didn't know how I was going to be financial free, but I just knew I'm going to be. I didn't know how I was going to do real estate, but I just knew I was going to do. And, you know, it was fucking cold living in my car. I had only a hundred bucks, but I kept reading books. I kept believing in it. When I got in real estate, I didn't know left from right. And I saw the first seminar talking about you buy real estate with no money down. I didn't believe in it, but deep down inside, I said, I'm going to try it out. I'm not going to discredit it, okay? And when I tried it, and it worked for me because I did exactly what the instructions said, and I got my first deal, then was on like Donkey Kong. And the same thing is going to happen with you. If you believe it, and you allow me to coach you, and you're coachable, once you hit your first home run, You're going to be addicted to real estate, and you're going to know that you can make money with no money in America. You can make money with little money in America. You can make money even if you have no money. You can use other people's money, okay? That's the great thing about America. Gang, this is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo. I'll see you on the other side of the smart coaching, and I'm looking forward to helping you do your first deal, if not your first couple of deals, in the first 30 days. Talk to you soon.